Today we're testing two Schold bases and I can only recommend to watch this through because these bases are out of this world kind of good, so let's check them out. Hi, this is Gregor from Baseball.com and here we have the two short bases. We have a Drakkar and we have the short Slayer. Both are bolt on and both come with what's in the industry called exhibition grade wood tops. <laughs> Peachhold is based in the US in Ohio and I was first introduced to this brand by my friend Nikola Adamovic who is an incredible luthier himself and when someone like him geeks out over someone else's bases then you know you're onto something special. And of course there's also Damien Erskine, a jazz bassist and columnist for No Travel uh, online magazine that you should be aware of. And there's of course also David Dyson who is an incredible funky player, uh, definitely check these guys out if you haven't heard of them yet. However, there's one little problem. Schult is a kind of a local business in Ohio, in the States, and when you're like myself living on the other side of the globe, it's really hard to find one of these bases even just for a short test ride. Um, there's no music shop here in Germany carrying them or anything like that. And that is until now, because an almost ex-colleague of myself from Frankfurt, we both used to work at the same music shop, Session Music, uh, there. Uh, just not at the same time. Uh, he also just quit his job just as I did 10 years ago and he started a little new shop for boutique bases, only like selected stuff, just a few bases, but only like the finest, finest, finest stuff. And uh, yeah, that's where these two bases came from. So um, if you ever wanted to try one here in Europe, this is your chance. <laughs> Now let's finally have a look at the bases and start with the short Slayer. This base comes with an Obeki body. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I've never heard of this before. This wood is also called African Maple. The top is 5A Maple Burl and it's all kept in a set and finish. The neck is a quarter sound piece of maple and the fretboard is made from Morado, also known as Pau Ferro. Pete uses his own pickups and an active freebandy cue with additional passive tone control. The hardware is custom made for him by Hipshot. Finally, we're through all the specifications. Uh, of course, this stuff is all very interesting, but with this base, what I rather want to talk about is what it feels like, what it sounds like, because this is really something special. However, um, let's first listen to another sound sample. <laughs> This bass is so good, I don't even know where to start. Let me just throw some thoughts around. For a boutique bass, the short slayer sounds surprisingly funky. This is actually a very decent slap bass. The tones across the fingerboard are perfectly even. There are no dead spots, not even slightly injured spots. The neck is surprisingly flat and plays like a dream. But the best thing is how this bass resonates. You can feel the quality of the woods just by playing it unplugged on your lap. This all feels very natural and reminds me much more of awesome vintage Fender basses than the most boutique basses out there. And now let's check the truck car. <laughs> This bass is a whole different story. First of all, it's a single cut and the extra sustain you get from the huge body neck transition is just delicious. The body here is made from African mahogany. The pop is also 5A maple burl, but this time there's a beautiful flamed maple top underneath and all these layers are separated by a dark wooden veneer. The neck is pretty much the same as on the short layer, only here we get a beautiful Makasa ebony fretboard. The electronics are also identical, but the pickups are sitting under an ebony ramp, which is super comfortable for some fingerstyle techniques. 
Also this particular one here is a 33 inch scale model, which adds to the comfort when playing and also the compound fingerboard radius on both bases actually, it feels really nice. Compared to the Schultz layer, the Drakkar is notably heavier. It weighs 4.5 kilos, but with this little extra weight comes some extra tone. This is an incredible base for chords and for solo stuff and for all these kinds of things. And even if you feel you're not this kind of bass player, um, this bass might be able to make you one of those because these things just sound incredible on here. And uh, I would say these basses, not only this, but especially this inspires you to play stuff that you maybe usually wouldn't play. Something like this. I'm very impressed by this base. The design honestly isn't exactly my cup of tea, um, but uh, just the sound and the playability, I would play this base, that's for sure. Uh, it's just incredible. Uh, when I first uh, received the bases here, I kind of, yeah, I like this one a bit more because it's more of the sounds that I like to hear and I like to play. But um, after recording René on both bases, I kind of started gravitating to the uh, Schultz layer because I guess it's a little bit more normal sounding and I really like this kind of old school tone that it has. However, these two Schultz are clearly amongst the finest bases that you can buy for money. And speaking of money, you will need a little bit more of it maybe. Um, these are really expensive bases, but uh, these are the best woods that you can buy, these are the best pickups, this is the best hardware, the craftsmanship is incredible. This takes a lot of hours to build such a base and of course uh, hours are money and uh, such a top Lufia wants to be paid. And um, I, these bases are expensive but I would say they are worth every buck and uh, in this price range this is not always the case. There are a lot of very expensive bases that are not really good. They are maybe super fancy, very nice woods but um, I don't have this feeling that they are so um, so well thought out. And, and these bases, every, just everything works, everything fits together. They are just matched in each other uh, to be perfect. And it works for me. So um, if you're ever looking for a high-end base that can make you happy until the end of your life, might be one of those. Um, I can only highly recommend to check short bases out. I'm very impressed. I, can, <laughs> I can't say this enough. And uh, I'm looking forward to maybe get to play more of them in future. That's it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, of course, as always, put them in the comment section below. And uh, if you want to find more specifications and this kind of stuff, you can check uh, the video description. Uh, of course, there are links to the Schultz website, also to Steffen's uh, website, where you can buy these bases if you like. And yeah, that's it from me today. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>